So, you want to improve your positioning? Are you dying a lot? Do you feel like you're always an easy target to hit? If so, it most likely is a problem with your positioning. In this video, I'll go over exactly what you can start doing now to instantly improve your positioning. Positioning is fluid. No hard rules. I can't cover every single situation on every single map. I can't tell you to just position here and you'll win. It depends on your personal skill, your team, and the enemy's team composition, and the loads of other factors. However, what I can do is give you general tips to make you think about your position. Once you start thinking about your positioning, you're already on the right track towards improving number one is always be a few steps away from natural cover ask yourself this question if any big ultimates are thrown at you right this second and i give you three seconds to dodge them with natural cover would you survive if your answer is yes then your positioning is good right now if your answer is no then you're most likely playing a wide open space and that's bad this is only the first question it gets you to actively think of your positioning at all times natural cover such as walls buildings or anything around the map is your best friend in overwatch 2 you can counter any ultimate in the game by simply hiding around a corner this is crucial for you if you're playing an immobile hero now for defense it gives you an easy way out as i said earlier you can dodge bullets and ultimates by simply moving a few inches behind cover it really doesn't get easier than this let's say you're fighting someone and suddenly it's a 1v2 you hide and wait for your team to heal you you get to pick what fights you take or don't take when you have natural cover when you don't have any you don't get the opportunity to do so you fight whenever the enemy team decides now for offense let's say you're fighting someone again you're positioned well you have natural cover nearby he on the other hand is sitting in the middle of nowhere well you can peek the corner shoot at him reload while hiding and peek again what does he have he either has to fight you or run away either way you won that fight by simply being near cover we didn't even talk about aim or anything you just happen to be at the right place that's how powerful natural cover is number two is high ground ask yourself this question how hard am i to hit right now always 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 make it hard for the enemy team to hit you standing behind your tank is not how you do it though go and get high ground now for defense when you're above the enemy team you see everything do you see that reaper is flanking you call it out to your team or you go yourself and contest him what happens in this situation if you weren't on high ground well reaper would have flanked you without you knowing he waits drops death blossom on your whole team and wipes you out that's the difference of seeing everything that is going on in the game now for offense if you're on a high ground you have a line of sight on everyone so instead of shooting at ryan's shield for example until it's down and then shooting at their back line you yourself you have high ground so you you forego Ryan's completely and shoot directly at their backline. In a way, by being above them, Ryan is absolutely useless right now and you are applying way more pressure. Number three is predict the enemy's play. What's their next move? For example, you see a comp with Lucio and Reinhardt. And like I said, you want to think about the next play, right? While well, keeping track of their ultimates helps a ton. All right, let's assume you're on defense for this one. You thought about it and you know that they are going to drop sound barrier and run in with Reinhardt, right? Now, the next step is thinking about what you're going to do now to counter that just thinking about it helps your positioning why do you ask well by knowing it you can position in a way that helps you counter their play are they running in from the right well position yourself a little bit more to the left it prepares your defense so you're not caught off guard now for offense it's the same thing let's say you're playing soldier against zenyatta you know that zenyatta is dropping his ultimate when you're dropping yours right so yes there's the option of waiting for it or you can just position in a way that you can still get one or two picks with it before he reacts you can do just that by maybe flanking from behind as you predicted that zen is going to use transcendence on his tank this is more tricky to practice and to keep in mind but with experience your prediction will get better and better number four is divide the enemy's team focus ask yourself this question how many players are focusing on me right now if you're in a position where the tank both supports and both damage are shooting at you you're in a bad position now this tip is the same for offense and or defense think about a position where you can fire at the enemy team without being in all their line of sights this usually means that you have to be either behind or to one side don't ever stand behind your tank 
and shoot at them. They all see you, it's predictable and you're also easier to flank that way. You always want to position slightly to the right or to the left of your team. Let's say you and your team are all grouped and pushing as 5 and staying as close as possible. The enemy team throws a graviton surge, your whole team is stuck in it and you die. Now, the same scenario where you are on one side or behind them. Maybe you hack their Zarya as Sombra and she doesn't use her ultimate. You just saved your team. Dividing the enemy's team focus prevents them from landing a big team wiping ultimate. They have to deal with you first, right? So even if they land a 4 man ultimate but their DPS are stuck firing at you, your team will easily survive it. Number 5 is have an exit or enter option at all times. Ask yourself this question, if something goes wrong right this moment, what are my exit options? If my team gets wiped, can I survive being where I am right now? This works for defense and offense. You need to think about exiting a situation you're not comfortable in. This goes way beyond natural cover. What abilities do you have to get away? How can you use those on the map you're in to fully exit without dying? On the other hand, you also need to think about how you can enter a fight where you're favored. For example, you're playing Farah and you want to fly behind their team to use Rocket Barrage, right? What is the most effective way to get there without them noticing? This will come with time, you'll get it by trial and error. You'll try one way and fail and then try it again with a different approach and get it. Now this is how tricky positioning is. What failed once might work another time, what works once might also fail another time. But by having let's say two or three ways in your toolbox per map, you'll be better off. Add some experience to that and you'll have a winning strategy for exiting and entering fights at the best time. If you're still here, I really hope this helped you in some ways. Positioning is tricky for new players as Overwatch is different from other FPS. As always, try these tips in your next game and think hard about your position. Let me know in the comments below how it went for you.